have a screen failure. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. This week I was doing instrument training with Christoph, and those of you who are patrons can have been following along, you know he is almost ready for his instrument check ride. And I found myself sitting there in the right seat, you know, while we're flying this week, thinking, I think he is ready for a check ride. So I thought it would be a cool video and add value to your flying life if I got you into my head. What am I noticing in Christoph's flying that makes me think he's ready for an instrument check ride? And then, to see if I'm right, we're gonna fail his primary flight display and have him fly an instrument approach in actual conditions all the way to minimums. Let's see how he does. And uh, basically departure briefing, so we're taking off front way. 3-0, very slight crosswind from the left, uh, 2 8 zero at 10. One of the first things that I noticed that Christoph is doing well is adhering to all of his procedures. I got to the airplane, he gave me a passenger briefing. Before we taxied, he showed me a diagram and gave me a pre-taxi briefing. Um, a very, very thorough pre-takeoff briefing. Back on the tower, Skyhawk 63251, 3-0 run up, ready for IFR release. 6251, contact NorCal 135.65. 1356563251 Another thing that I noticed that Christoph is doing really really well is prioritizing aviate navigate communicate. How many times have you heard your instructor say that? But what does that really mean? Look at this moment on downwind here when he's told to contact departure. He tunes the frequency in, he flips it over, but he doesn't start talking right away. He continues to run his checklist, think in front of the airplane and then communicate. He aviates he navigates, and finally he communicates. Uh, uh, left, the first turn off until the edge. Uh, stops at the prayer. 6372, clear to high left, 28 left, the first contact, San Francisco Tower 1 to 0 0.5. Clear to high 28 left, and over to Tower Sky West, 6372. Over to 63251, North Town. 6351, uh, 1300, climbing 2100. Over to 63251, North Town, departure rate of contact, San Francisco, 729907. The last thing that he's doing that makes me think he's ready for a check ride is thinking verbally in front of the airplane. We're three miles away from Woodside. As we get there, it's, uh, it's gonna be a left turn, 141. Cool, now let's see if he can continue to do that stuff with his screen failed in actual conditions while flying an approach to minimums. Pretty good, let's have a screen failure. So like we would need to, I mean theory, like we would need to like say like a hey, NorCal, uh, we advise like we lost our primary flight display, but proceed. I mean, it's not an emergency. Uh, okay, that's fine. Just rely on like the backup instruments and. Uh, uh, you can use reversionary mode for this if you want. If it were a check ride, I would assume that reversionary mode works unless they tell you specifically not to. Okay. November 63251, seven miles from mover, cross mover, at or above 3,200, cleared for the RNAV 13 approach to Lena. Cross mover at or above 3,200, cleared on RNAV 13, Salinas, 63251. Okay, 1,000 feet to go. Uh, next waypoint is UBEP, which is the final approach fix. Okay, uh, once we cross UBEP, we don't. Uh, there's nothing to time. Uh, no turn, basically we stay on that course. And then we can go down to minimums, uh, 540. And uh, there's nothing to report that they don't tell us to the final push fix. Let me accelerate. Okay, so, so far so good. Kristoff's looking really, really good here. He's got solid procedures. He's prioritizing things in terms of aviate, navigate, communicate. Um, and he's using the five T's, turn time, twist, throttle, and talk, to think one event in front of the airplane. That's huge. 
Uh, we're now going to push him to the saturation point, and everybody has a point at which they become saturated. And, uh, you know, there's an old visualization, an old saying about instrument pilots that you're like a juggler, and if you're really good at it, you can juggle, you know, five, six, seven, eight balls in the air, but eventually, eventually, at some point, you're going to get, you know, saturated, and all those balls are going to come down. You don't just miss the ninth ball the whole house of cards comes down. We're looking for that point now. Can Kristoff continue to do the things he's doing while we push him a little harder? Fail the PFD, put him into the clouds, fly a real instrument approach to minimums and see what happens. And you're gonna find that he makes a few mistakes here which may seem random. He forgets to contact tower, um, he forgets to call the missed approach, he doesn't navigate quickly and effectively enough on the missed approach. Even though it seems like he's made three or four mistakes, it's really that one mistake of not continuing to think, think one event in front of the airplane that he's missing, because that process would have caught all of those mistakes. Thinking in front of the airplane. If you catch a mistake before it happens, no mistake was made. November 63251, contact Salinas Tower 119.52, and report back on this frequency on the public Smith 127.15. Okay, over to Salinas Tower and we'll report back on the miss, uh, 63251. We're back of course, we're a bit high. Three miles away from the Mitchell Bridge Point. Golden Eagle 5, Alpha Mike, turn left heading 290, descend to maintain 5,000. Left 290, out of 6,000, down 5,000, Alpha Mike. Five thousand. My meter out is going to maintain three thousand. Let me maintain three thousand now, five flight. At two miles away from the. Right. So a thousand. This is the tower now, right? Oh yeah. Oh, gonna get a call in the tower. Yeah. Starting on tower, Skyhawk six three two five one uh, RNAV one three approach. Run two five one report execute miss. Report the miss, 63251. Tell me what heading you're turning to now. Uh, 140. Right further than that, oh, maybe but probably, probably 145, yeah. You hold that heading. Welcome track. Oh, minimums, minimums. Well, off, what are your minimums? Uh, fi uh, 540. Okay, good. Yeah, call it 560 and just track that needle. Okay, so Mitchell approach, okay. I'm and uh, so it's a climbing right turn, 4,500. Low right rudder, keep the turn coming. Direct rate of turn indicator coming up. Make sure you're actually turning. There you go, little right, right rudder. Two more. There you go. Perfect. All right, and the published yeah. mist is a uh, required report. So yeah, aviate, navigate, and then communicate. Gonna hit this button to navigate. Good, there you go. So all in all, I think Christoph did really, really well. It's you know the hardest part about being a CFI is pulling yourself out of the equation, sitting there doing nothing, and uh, task saturating your student, and just seeing what happens. If you want to see more from this flight, including another approach flown entirely on the back of instruments, come to Patreon.com/slash Learn TF. Six two five one missed approach. A huge thanks to Christophe for allowing me to publish his flight training to the internet. A uh, huge thanks to the sponsors for their support of this show and to the patrons. If you're headed for an instrument check ride, consider some of the things I said. Standardize your procedures and impress the examiner right away. Then learn how to aviate, navigate, communicate, and actively think in front of the airplane. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more, and until next time, be safe and fly your best.